it's Rome and welcome to another episode of Rome in Carnival today we're gonna to take you back to some of the traditions of Carnival we're right here at the home of Carnival here in Trinidad and Tobago the Queen's Park Savannah and we are going to learn the history of extempo and we can learn the history and not learn how to battle how the art of extempo was developed and how to do it ourselves who better to teach us than an extempo king Gypsy, so get me the Banama Dai Da Dai Da Dai De Banama De Banama De Banama De Banama Dai Da Dai Da Dai De Dai Da De Da Santi Manite. We're here with Mr. Winston Gypsy Peters, the chairman of the NCC, the National Carnival Commission. Um, not only is he chairman of the NCC, but he is a veteran Calypsonian. The man has won, you have won one title in terms of the Calypso Monarch. One title. But he has 13 titles under his belt when it comes to the extempo. Gypsy, I could call you one of the kings of extempo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anybody with more titles than you, an example? No, no. So you, you, so he's really the, the, the king of example when it comes to, to I titles. Think must be about three or four. Right, 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 all right, all right. So Gypsy, we're here to talk about extempo. So uh, we, we want to learn where extempo really came from. Well, extempo came out of calypso. Extempo is really like what jazz is to to to, to that to music. Mm -hmm. Extempo is the root of calypso, really. Um, people on the on the plantation and stuff used to extempo talk about massa and to do whatever, but they would use it in song to do whatever they're doing. Mm. And extempo is born out of that kind of struggle and stuff. And then it came down to a fine art form mm. in the Calypso fraternity with all the Calypso ones and stuff doing it as a, a real form of entertainment back in the day. Right. It died out a little bit, you know, and sometime in the early 80s, a man named Mr. Straker and Mr. Bupini and stuff, and by that time I was on the scene. and. Mm. They, were, they wanted to revive, to revive the example. Mm -hmm. And um, nobody knew I could extempo good like that. I mean, as, as the way I can relate, I was a good extempo. Right, I remember Lord Relater, they I mentioned him. Extempo singer at the time, and, um, and we just they pitted us together and stuff, and what have you, what have you. And then, you know, the rest is history. Extempo forms part of the the Calypso landscape once again. Because a, a, a guy was telling me this week, he said, boy, I think Extempo came from those rap battles and then, you know. No, 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 no. You mean the rap battles probably came from Extempo because ex Cal Calypsonians have been singing Extempo long before the Long world, before that. When the word rap meant something else. Mm. Rap things <laughs> so it, it could have it could have really stemmed from, from that, from the, no, that, no, that no, tradition no, itself. Let me explain something to you. In the 40s, 30s, 40s, and, 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 and early and to late 50s. All the stars in America had to be some Calypso. Cheers! A lot of people don't know that, and you might be too young to know mm. that as well. But a lot of the stars, Robert Mitchum, um, all the stars, all the big stars, that's what they did, they sang Calypso. Ah, and then. Calypso is a great music. Well, I, I, I always heard of that in terms of Calypso travel the world. A lot of people still speak yes, about yes, that up till today. Yes, that yes. Anywhere you go in the world and you mention Trinidad and Tobago, they would mention Carnival and they would mention Calypso. Yeah. Well, this was one of the biggest music in the world at one time. Bigger than rock and roll, bigger than all three music. Ah. It was before rock and roll and stuff. Ah. And it was one of the biggest music in the world. As a matter of fact, like I said, a lot of the stars of that era mm -hmm. sang Calypso. Maya Angelou was a Calypsonian, a lot of mm. people. Wouldn't know that. I didn't know that. Louis I wouldn't know Farrakhan that. Louis was a Calypsonian. Right, right. I mean, and not only him, but a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of American stars. A lot of American So stars. the X Tempo really came from Calypso itself. It was a version oh, of Calypso. Maybe Calypso itself came, came from, from X Tempo. It could be Stempo, the chicken yeah. and the egg. Right. Because they were, they were, they were, you know. They were, okay, so they go hand in hand. And in terms of X Tempo, I know that there is a specific beat that people will call the Santi Manite beat. Santi Manite beat. A lot of people call it the Santi Manite beat. And that's the traditional beat to Calypso. It's like how you can identify country music. Mm -hmm. Country music has a specific identification in, it, in terms of its music. Right. Here, you know, that's country. 
people. That's what that particular song is to, to extend for. So we call it and, and I was reading Israeli sans humanity. Sans humanity, yes. Of course. Because we say sans humanity. But I, I, I read it that it says sans, sans humanity. humanity. So I said, well, let me ask you, see, what is that? Which means without mercy. That's what I mean? And that's why at the end of every extensive verse, mm. you would hear them saying sans humanity. I mean, whatever they tell is without mercy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that is how the example battles yes, would go. Yes, and it means once you get inside of that ring, mm. you expect no sympathy, you expect no mercy, you expect no <laughs> because it's sans humanity. Sans humanity. Well, on that note, we're going to look at some of the great extempo battles of the past. Right here, it's Rome in Carnival. Let's take it in. Good evening and welcome here to the show. We will engage in some extempo. I am inviting Superior on the stage because I don't want to get in a rage. Tonight we go prove who is the Kaiso King. When we start this extempo singing, if you only blunder, tonight I'm going to give you some thunder. Well, listen to me, Mr. Relator. As a Calistonian, you cannot be greater. You won the crown a few years ago. Then you started hustling in some Calypso. You make a promotion for Arawa chicken. Now you provide the lame man, you're selling ring. But everybody could see you're not making plenty money. Since the demise of Kopalani. Well, no one stage, as you all could see, is the gypsy and a young lady. If you want to know what we come here for, is just to start the extempo war. Well, I want to know why she's standing behind. All you might feel the gypsy out of your mind. But I am saying this from in my heart. Take off the light with me and she and let the war start. <laughs> Gypsy, hats off to you, we come here to do a war, it's true, but like you, I think it's wrong, to have these bright lights shining down on, so I say, Gypsy, my boy, I think that it is a ploy, to put the two of us to fight here tonight, when we could be doing other things so right. In Trinidad, somebody looking for the suit. In next tempo, they say you is a chief. But gypsy boy, you look like a plastic thief. And who's in my you? Look, you're smelling old. That thing you have in your neck is brass, is not gold. I'm telling you, I know the way you feel Like you don't know when you see something that is real Well, then I'm telling you, it's a real sad thing It's a stupid day crown for ex tempo king you better leave me alone In Concord we just throw down some real big stone I'm telling you, boy, I'm telling you again We could even pelt it and knock you out in the plane I'm telling you, boy, look, I respect you. And I don't like the thing that you must do. But for that, 
make sure you won't lose your life. And when your death power is going to take away your wife. I don't really want you to take this thing for that. Now you're making a threat on the gypsy life. And you tell me if I dead, you will take my wife. Well, everything about to say it is true. What the hell in the world my wife will do with you? This is something that I don't want you to forget. Anytime a wife take you, is just as a pet. So we saw some of the great extempo battles, but now we had to practice it. We had to try it ourselves. <laughs> I had to practice because he's the king, right? So Gypsy, is there a technique in learning how to extempo? I think that the technique in learning how to extempo starts since you're small because you have to have a good vocabulary. Mm. You have to learn how to have a quick recall of words. Right. And I guess that that that's my technique. So that is it. So you don't have a, a, a technique where you're planning the last line first or the first. I don't plan anything. I don't do anything. Nothing I, at no, all. No, it's no, just no. straight just, up it up yeah, your head. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I have a good recall of words uh. and I do have a very good vocabulary. So, so for somebody like me, I mean, Trinidad and Tobago would know me for singing para, right? Yes, but yeah. all the songs that I would write, I would sit home and I would write it. Yeah, well, everybody. And take yeah, a while yes. to, to, to write right, it. Yeah, and you so could write it. Right, but I never really tried extempo to say. So, you have any tips for me before I start? Just the tip I give you there, I guess you have the tip already, you have it because you, 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 you speak well, you, you, you have a good command of the English language. Mm. And um, you're Trini, so even though we're using Trini parlance, mm. I guess you'll learn to. You'll so we learn just rhyme in it. Yeah, right. you could right. rhyme. Let me go. Are you ready for this? That makes sense. Let me go. 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 They dam bam 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 bam. I telling you, you must understand, Mr. Roo. I admire your ambition. Mm -hmm. I know you sing Paran and Calypso, but you know, for into extempo, that is something I want you to do, and for that I am really proud of you. But I telling you, do not play the fool, as today I have you in my extempo school. La da dum la, la dum dum la dum. La ba di mi, ba dum, pi ga ba la ba di mi, la ba di la dum dum la dum. Well today we are in Port of Spain, I see in real sun it a hand of rain. Right now I'm learning to extempo, I don't know really how to flow. I's not really a lyricist, I's a man that's had to write down all my lyrics. But right now here, where is the scene? I need some help from my brother. His name is Akim. Come on, Akim. Lava dimly down, down, down. Lava dimly down, 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 down. Lava dimly, lava dimly, lava dimly, lava dimly, lava dimly, lava dimly, lava dimly. Right now we here with the chairman, and everybody know the bacchanal is thirty million. How are you know? I'm not telling you plain. They call me to sing for the bacchanal again. Boy, I want you know, and I understand you is the big NCC chairman, but when they talk about you, it's Bacchanal on the wrong, on the wrong, I want you know. Now, Akim, that's not the way to go. I want to tell you, is it COVID? Where are we so? Right. Because right now, it shouldn't be no bacchanal. As you know, right now, we would have how we carnival. 30 million, let me say, my friend, on carnival is a very little to spend. Because the people down here, I ain't making joke. Our artists will sure get paid when they work. All right. Lit. Made, 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 made. Made, 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 made. Bam 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 Akim you want to try one more time again? I try and this thing before I feel Right now we here with the king And you don't know it's M Next tempo we singing I want you to know this and I tell him you're flat I should have never ever talked about 30 million and that But I want you to know I don't have no fear I just want 2 million just for one year 
I telling you like you feeling sick I feel like you want to get too much money too quick The thing about it what I can't understand You are even start from one you want two million But this is something I want you to know That nobody doesn't get two million just so What I'm saying will it a no joke To acquire that you have to do plenty work I want to tell you well just how I feel. Mm -hmm. Some people think extempore real, mm -hmm. but this is something that I could afford to tell you that singing extempore no fraud. We could sing extempore John just so we sing it like we just sing in calypso. Right. So now you are here. Well, I want you to know. I hope you learn the lesson of extempore. Yeah man, yeah man, yeah man.